In this video, I'm going to show you how to make notes on Canvas. So if you're a student or a faculty, this could be a great source for you to uh, make notes and it will actually work for someone perfectly who provides their students with skeleton notes or partially filled notes and then to do it um, in front of the class and students just follow it. So the first thing you need to do is to go to your app store and then download Canvas student app. This right here. I'm going to download it. it should not take too long. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Once you open it, it's actually going to ask you for your school name and then you sign in to the app using your uh, login credentials. I had this app already on my uh, iPad, so it didn't ask me for that. So here are all the courses that I have taught and I'm gonna pick, um, say I wanna pick uh, C20. So I usually put all my lecture contents under modules. So if I go to lectures here, here are all the lectures. So say I wanna go to lecture number four. So these, these are the PDF files that I have uploaded and he, here are my skeleton notes. What I usually do is actually share, print it off and uh, give it to students and then do it in front of them and they just follow along with me so with this coronavirus thing while we are doing this on online remotely i think this would be a great tool so all i need to do is actually i can maximize this by clicking here my window and here is the tool right here and i can move it around to the right or whichever uh, you know um, place i want to place it i can um, so say, you know, I want to write something on it and I want to go through all these features. So the first one is basically it's a highlighter. Okay. So you can pick a color right here, the different options, and then you can just highlight it. Okay. I'm uh, moving on to the second one. Uh, this is the underliner. Okay. Again, you can use different colors if you like. So say on a red and then I can underline. Uh, there are, this is, I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. Okay, all right, it's for like zigzag underliner. Um, you also have this text right here. Once you select this uh, and then place it anywhere you like, uh, you can actually type whatever you want to. So, digital, say a little electronics, and then, you know, again, you can change the color if you like. I use the black color uh, and I can just move it around also. Uh, selecting it and then place it anywhere I like. Go to edit, change the color if, if I need to uh, or um, increase the size by just tapping on this thing right here um, okay all right um, and then this is the the pen that we have uh, again different options right here uh, I can change the thickness of the line I'm gonna set it to two right here and then I'm gonna move here so say um, an end bit unsigned number represent all number range all numbers in the range from zero to to the power n minus one. So, for example, the range for an eight bit unsigned binary number would be zero to to the power eight minus one. Um, that will be zero to two fifty five correct <clears throat> and then uh, 
different other options right here you know so um, this is the eraser if I want to erase it right here they also have these arrow right here you can you know use the stylus and then different types line types you can also make a square okay uh, again you know I can go here and then change the colors or I can make a circle um, and then um, I can also undo it by say you know tapping on this thing right here so if I go back here I can scroll down the whole document like this and also um, <clears throat> This just automatically saves, so both instructor and students can do that. So earlier I was working on lecture number three. So if I go back here, all my notes are over here. I can go to lecture number two, which I did. So it, it automatically saves everything. Uh, I can also, once I'm done with, you know, filling all the notes right here, I can go to here and then... <clears throat> save to Dropbox or save uh, on my iPad or email it to students or um, you know a bunch of options that you have over here okay so I thought that will be pretty handy and all you basically need here is an iPad or uh, any smart tablet uh, with a stylus I'm using iPad Pro and a pen and then this canvas student app